Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. This is Ron Engelstad for our, uh, the Thunderdome Network and thinking about different things after a Nerf battle we had this evening. Um, it was a good crowd, 287 confirmed participants. And I don't think that's counting all the adults that were also uh, interacting with us and on the field. So that's pretty groovy. That means it was a big crowd. That's when my voice sound, maybe sounds a little bit rough right now because after uh, yelling at 287 cats, I mean kids, and trying to keep them organized, uh, can take your toll on a voice. Uh, I got to help run the event. Uh, there were several of us who were assisting. It was not a Thunderdome event, but it was a free event through Project My Neighborhood, and it was across the Twin Cities. So those of you who don't know the Twin Cities is, it's a, you know, it's a major, uh, St. Paul is the capital of Minnesota, and it's, you know, neighbors, Minneapolis. So if you look at the whole city, um, Cottage Grove would be down here where the thumb is, and where the event was, was all the way here on the, where the pinky would be. So from the southeast to the north, northwest of the cities. So about an hour drive there and about an hour drive back, give or take, and in the dark and 20 degrees and overcast and whatnot. So, um, not that I'm talking about the event. Uh, so many people on the Thunderdome, uh, uh, channel have been talking about different struggles in their life. And I wanted to make a quick mention about, um, what changes that have happened in my life recently. Um, I like to think that I've led a somewhat ordinary life. I like to believe I've followed the red green example of, uh, live clean and honest, be a good neighbor, be a hard worker and end life journeys with the same number of holes you started with. And, um, I'd like to think I'm a good father and a good husband and all those things. But, um, about a, almost a year now, has it been nine months, about nine months now, I've, uh, you've been using a CPAP machine because my wife would not let me drive even just across the Swiss cities, uh, by myself to these events, especially not at night, especially not in, uh, you know, in those kind of conditions, uh, and especially not after running around a soccer field for three hours, uh, doing a Nerf event and then getting in the car and driving myself back home because there was a danger of falling asleep behind the wheel. Um, when I was tested with my, um, uh, sleep apnea test, I got the report, or the doctor called me with the report and said, uh, yeah, I've been doing this a while and you're the second worst I've ever seen. So, you know, we got a machine going right away and I've been sleeping so hard uh, these last few months when I go to sleep with the, uh, machine on that uh, I wake up and I kind of forget that, oh, it's Tuesday and I have to do that, you know. It's back to the days of sleeping so soundly that, uh, you know, it's such a good night's sleep. And now, like I said, um, the thought I had coming home from the event and being, uh, my kids weren't only able to go, it's a school night, of course. Uh, my wife's a teacher, it's a school night, she didn't go. So driving home for an hour uh, alone in the car with just the radio, you kind of get these thoughts in your head that, oh, wow, you know, a year ago, two years ago, I wouldn't be doing this by myself. This is kind of groovy that I'm able to take myself out for a fun evening all by myself. Uh, you know, not at the event, of course, I was with other people, but driving to and from the event, and that is such a wonderful thing. So I think that goes to the message of uh, taking care of yourself that other people have uh, put on this channel. If it's, you know, all the whole gamut of uh, all the needs from uh, mental, physical, um, everything that you do, um, you do need to take care of yourself along with taking care of your family, taking care of others, and being active in your community and all these things um, is all very nice. I mean, we are fairly active in Cottage Grove. We do the Nerf events. We're active in our church. We're active in the schools. We're active in... Uh, lots of things, and but you also have to take care of yourself, otherwise you're not going to be able to help other, anybody else, and you're just going to end up 
ultimately failing, especially if you, you know, hurt yourself in your vehicle, or even worse, if you come out okay, but you've hurt somebody else uh, in that kind of situation. So, I just wanted to put that out there, that that was a thought I had this evening, as far as, um, it's great, and I, um, always happy to help in all the different functions that we do things here in Cottage Grove. When the holiday train came through on Monday, we helped serve 50 gallons of cocoa, um, for free at the event, uh, Gabe and I. And that was a lot of fun. Uh, first we had to make it, and then we had to serve it. So, I mean, that was uh, a hoot and a half. And we've done that um, for several years now. Six, seven years now. And wouldn't, you know, give up all the different volunteer things that we do. But you do need to take care of yourself so that you're able to continue to do the fun things that you do. Um, if it's Nerf, if it's dance, if it's, you know, whatever. So, um, yeah. The event was great tonight. Busby was our sponsor. Uh, we gave away a few at the end for the people who helped the most. I got a nice Jolt holster from Wolfpack Nerf, uh, 3D printed, which is really cool, and made a few connections, and hopefully we'll keep this Nerf uh, hobby jamming here in Minnesota Yeah, and keep it going on. It's fun to see things uh, getting exciting and... and uh, and happening um we've been doing this for a while now and i guess i probably need to get need to get around to doing that introduction video uh kind of hard to follow up uh, the lakes of homely though his uh, video was excellent so maybe we'll get around to doing that one of these days so take care of yourself and keep uh, having fun in this great hobby thanks for listening bye